10. The spirit of independence, the spirit of our celebration is being exhibited across the length and breadth of our island. Our creativity and self-expression can become the key pillars for nation building and national pride. Let me wish you all a happy celebration of independence and look forward to a very rewarding and fulfilling experience. Nine. Today we gather lest we forget. Today we gather to remember because we care. Let's celebrate what we are. Lucians, friends. We thank God for the legacy of Sa'afa and Sederi. And we look forward to many a Lucian will one day grace those beautiful lawns, our heroes. Wow. Thank you. Eight. To think that you have done something and it is considered to be a value to the nation, you know, to be recommended by a committee and then, you know, to do this. So I was very, very delighted. Seven. Taiwan will continue to collaborate with Honorable Prime Minister Fiji Pia and the government of St. Lucia, steering our nations to a brighter and more prosperous tomorrow. So I want to thank you for understanding that these grants are necessary and they serve a useful purpose. Six. In a heartwarming gesture of compassion and solidarity, the Taiwanese embassy via the NGO Simply Help Foundation has again extended a helping hand to scores of marginalized and less fortunate households in St. Lucia, donating close to US $100,000 worth of essential items to the Ministry of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment for distribution. Every act of kindness can create positive change. And today, your donation is a powerful reminder of that fact. This maintains our civilization. This ensures that we continue to cater and be relevant as a society, cater for those who are most in need. Five. A partnership to empower young leaders has been formalized as the Ministry of Youth Development and Sports has partnered with the United States International Development's USAID Youth Resilience, Inclusion and Empowerment Wiry Program to launch the Youth Work Program for effective youth work practice, which is aimed at enhancing the skills of youth workers. This collaboration symbolizes the synergy between two entities committed to shaping the future of our communities through the lens of youth development. The Youth Work Program for Effective Youth Work Practice is a strategic endeavor to strengthen the ministry's role, the ministry's role in confronting the wide-ranging challenges St. Lucian youth face. Four. Education Minister Honorable Sean Edward commended the Cadet Corps for its significant support, especially during the time of disasters, and says the organization has the answers to some of the major social ills faced with young citizens. The significance of what you do is immense, and it is against that backdrop the government that I'm a part of will stand shoulder to shoulder with the Cadet Corps to ensure that we give you the requisite support so that your work can be even more impactful than it has been. Three. An initiative to sensitize the nation's youth on climate change and its impact on health was undertaken this week in an effort to change behaviors which can have an adverse effect on climate change and health. Today's activity is very exciting. We have the students here um, from all um, in the northern part of the island who are getting some information on climate change and health and how they can take an active role in contributing positively to climate change. Two. There was a signing of the DVRP at the Ministry of Infrastructure. And I was the minister at that time. And I signed that loan, that agreement with the then Prime Minister Kelly Anthony. And there was a long list of roads and walls and buildings that the DVRP the world of construction. And it was signed on 26 April 2016. 26 April 2016 for the financing of the reconstruction of the PI bridge and the rehabilitation and reconstruction of the Ansari Venus Road. One. 
The school supervision retreat focused mainly on the collective aspirations of those charged with the supervision of the education sector, fostered through dialogue, collaboration, and a shared vision in order to shape the future of education within St. Lucia and the wider region. Our collective efforts will help the principals, the teachers, the students, and the leaders that we lead to shape this nation, to shape our society.